Hello, good people. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. Welcome to Tuesday night. It's Apex Online Racing. It's 90 minutes tonight. 90 minutes of Monza. And it's raining. And it's almost guaranteed to rain the whole way through. So, gird yourselves, people. <laughs> it's going to be a wet one. It's actually quite treacherous, to be honest. I've had some practice um, in this server. And yeah, looks like it's going to be a very treacherous night. But I'm actually, as always, looking forward to it. You know, it's racing. I enjoy racing in any conditions, in any form. Five, one. Long way off my phone. The guy ahead has just posted a 155.61. The guy ahead has just done a 155.67. I think the track is going quicker. The people are going much faster. It's an clear green flag. Down to P5 currently. See where that leaves us at the end of quality. Better through there. Okay, Damien. But that is slowing fast out. Okay, 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 okay. Hey DB, you missed quality, but it wasn't the greatest quality for me. It was not the greatest quality for me. Just gonna have to hope that the race works out okay. Yeah, maybe. Because I even underfueled my tank for quality. Anyway, I will be right back. Where am I? I am P12, but there's still a few cars on track, I think. Hello, hello, good people. It's race time. I'm back. Did you miss me? I know I did. Engine on. Rain lights, normal lights, wipers. Thank you, Neil. I have my work cut out today. Didn't have the greatest qualifying. But I am very much looking forward to it. Assuming we all survive. <laughs> Assuming we all survive. It's a wet monza. <laughs> qualifying was really was relatively close. Relatively close, I would say. Yeah, I need to get VR for the stream, don't I? Uh, to be honest, I think I'm being lazy because I think I have all the right gear to be able to make it work. Um, I think I'm just worried about the load on my PC doing that right now. Well, I say I think. I know that's what the situation is. Um, 
perhaps I'll just save up and purchase a new CPU and then when I do should be okay why is names in front of me yes we need to do tests to see does it help that I'm not I don't have as much time right now but we may be able to test probably on an evening sometime actually evening my time daytime your time Neil, sorry, how have you been? How have you been? I know I said thanks for wishing me luck, but it's been a while since we spoke. People, it's 90 minutes of Monza in the wet. Effectively starting in mid pack. I say mid pack, front of mid pack. But I have a, I have to try and keep it as clean as possible. Check your pit stop strategy, dummy. Okay, I have all the right fuel tire. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Looks correct. I am going to try something. I am going to go for the no tire change. That's going to be my strategy for this. Fuel only. Oh, nice to hear you're doing good. Nice to hear you're doing good. And my refuel should be more than enough fuel to finish the race. 158 laps is more than I need, I think. Using three liters per lap. Let's say two minute laps, a little faster than that, but two minute laps over 90, 45. We'll call it 47 laps at most, maybe 48. 48 times three. Three and four, two, yep. Actually, yeah, should be more than enough. You're doubting just imagine 50 laps at three liters a lap is 150 liters and i'm carrying more than that on board but yeah you did say you're free db yes we'll try and get a session in i mean i think it'll just be good to drive anyway you know it's been a while since we drove together just for oh nins you're scaring me People, in case you're not aware, at Monza, when it rains this heavily, there's a big puddle on the left of the track. So it's going to be something to be aware of. Also, coming out of Ascari on the right of the track, Ascari is the chicane we just came through on the way up here. On the right of the track, there's a, another puddle. And if you get it wrong, you aquaplane and... You don't always bin it, but you can easily fishtail. And a fishtail while you're side by side with someone is almost always catastrophe for someone, you know? But this is not how bad can things go. This is racing. Someone's already playing games. So far, not punting anyone, so far. But this is actually the more dangerous part in my opinion. Because you've passed turn one, everybody, not everyone, but a lot of drivers get quite aggressive here. I'm just going to back out, I think, the sensible thing. There's a couple cars off already, on the left. Incident in sector one, sector one is yellow. Looks like P1 has gone off in Trevor Grande. No, that's Lance. That's Taylor. Well, it was Taylor on pole. I don't know if it was him in P1. Why am I saying no, no? Because <laughs> I like him. But I'm racing him for overall championship position. So, mixed feelings here, people. Oh, he's back in the lead. So, yes. Happy for him. Happy for him. I need to keep my focus on the track. Keep it downfield. Sector 
lose a lot of time through their bond trying to be safe. Survival then, survival. That's not how you survive. I've got my TC high as well, you know. Oh, it's the, is that a Porsche behind me? It's an Aston. Nice try, Volkman. Nice try. Dummy, dummy, dummy. Let's try not to make such big mistakes. I am being as conservative as I can right now, people. I should stop saying that. That's usually when I make mistakes. Okay, then we back to driving. Birch, thank you. Almost. Just a bit of rain, Ma Marin. A little bit. That was a very aggressive overtake by me, by the way, people. Thankfully, no contacts. I think he was banking on me overshooting the corner as well. See, very careful through a scary. Right now, I think for me, that's slightly safer. Oh, the overtake worked out this time, Marin? Yeah, he did. Just about. It's just not my usual style of driving, you know. But I need to also work on that. I don't know if Rena has that much damage that they just sat in the pits or if they've called it a day already. That must have been a lot of damage they took then.
I think. I wouldn't wouldn't be happy with you in Spain. What happened? Oh, were you like super aggressive? I mean, when you're in your rhythm, you're actually a good attacking driver, aren't you? It's when you're not that it's a bit, eh. Only two cents for you. That's that's not a lot, mate. I've seen you do a lot more sense. <laughs> the leader's just done it. One fifty five point eight four. He's safe. Leader's already in the fifty fives. That lap time was one fifty six. <laughs> you mean to tell me you overtook someone without sending it? I'm not sure I believe you, Marin. Alright, so context people. Marin is one of the drivers I started driving with sometime last year. So, oh yeah, I was saying, we started driving together about a year ago, maybe a little over that now. And one of the things he always told me was I was too careful. Oh, do you have the replay? Yes. Yes, I would like to see that. And he had a race at Barcelona this weekend. Oh, this weekend just gone, I should say. An endurance race. Did very well, actually. Him and the team came P3. In class. P3 in class. So it's a mixed class grid. All GT3, though. You can tell I'm in my trouble corners when I go very quiet. <laughs> Um, what was I even saying? Yes. So, he always t he tells me that I drive too... Not that I drive too carefully, but he was one of the people that encouraged me to be a bit more adventurous in my driving. And it's really paid off, I think. I'm trying to learn them to pick and choose when I'm aggressive and when I am not. Oh, so on Saturday, they started P40. So, out of, I think, 47 maybe. And finished P19 overall. Yellow flag, stay sharp. It's an clear green flag. I meanwhile just have to keep churning out laps. And try and close this gap down first of all. Apply some pressure without causing us too much time. Well, it's myself mostly, but I don't want to get there and then we battle so much that we let the car behind catch up. I think I'm slowly closing the gap. But then we get to third sector and I'm just tiptoeing through there currently. See, so all the time I gain in the other two sectors, he opens up there, but I have to accept that right now, that's okay. Mostly just because I'm not as confident to do that. So I'd rather take the time to get it right.
Ideally, I will catch him and overtake him. That's Craig in front. But it's a long race and we both have time to make mistakes. Tire pressures are too high. I don't know how I manage that. We keep bum time every time I have one of those, you know, people. Am I drifting? Marin is because I'm on. I'm trying to go fast in ways that I shouldn't be, apparently. Drifting is definitely a slower option, and I think I'm getting yeah I'm getting caught by Fedokin behind. Just can't seem to get parabolic, right? Like it's just not happening, and I'm throwing away loads of time. We're catching the cars in front, maybe. P3 and P4. We may soon form another train.
Sector one is clear. Is that better? Apparently not. Felt safer though. <laughs> right there. I meanwhile have not closed that gap in front. Now, this is where I have to consider how long do I defend before I let him through. It's a long enough race that holding him up for the whole race may not be the smarter call, you know. I think he's got the exit speed here anyway. Yeah, I think he may do. One rules. All right. Still there. Clear nine. Still there. Okay. Still there. Still there. Still there. He's still there. Clear nine. Right. Still there. Clear on the right. Not sure how much space he left me, but fair enough. Well done, Federkin. Good pass. Very good pass. I would be proud of that. Let's go now. Let's go find them. Yeah, that sounds fast, but to be honest, I had a horrible exit. <laughs> I had a very bad exit from Parabolica. Lots of hoping he pulls away actually and goes and joins the pack in front. That way they could all come back to me together. Very hopeful thinking if I'm honest. This is where I envy the Aston uh, traction control settings because yeah <laughs> coming out of there it doesn't look like it's struggling at all but okay why you slow me down but you were lapping quicker than me
fun is not the word I used to describe the Aston. It's a comfortable car to drive, I'll give you that. Fun is not the word I associate with it. Versatile, yes. One perk of the Aston is that it's not trying to kill you. Well, definitely not as much as the other GT3s. Oh, there's it time to go for an aggressive stance? No, we said we're going to be as conservative as possible. See what the race brings us. The damage curves are slippery when wet. Yeah, but I don't think you get as much traction if you're trying to accelerate on the curb. You're very correct that the green... Both the grass and the astro is definitely a worse option. Or painted cement, whatever that is actually. Like the cars in front of me all have race space of 55. Either I get braver, or I accept that right now I'm racing for what comes back to me. what we can do yeah but you're talking of Gojira in the rain in theory yes He opened up that gap in maybe two laps. Oh, damn it. We just need to nail Parabolica and all of a sudden I'm in 55s. The car ahead has just done a 155.27. 55.27. 55.27. 55.27. 55.27. 55.27. 55.27. 55.27. 55.27. 55.27. 55.27. 55.27. 55.27. 55.27. 55.27. 55.27. 55.27. 55.27. 
5.2. Alright. That's fast. That's quality lap fast. In the wow, wow, Myron, wow. <laughs> it's pointing out that the Bentley is good in the car and good in the wet, but with me driving, it's not so good in the car in the wet. I don't know how I feel about that, mate. That's cold. That's how I read what you said. definitely a driver thing not the car to be honest because I've seen the car go faster than I'm taking it although I'll point out the other Bentleys in the on the grid don't seem to be doing as well either Yes, the problem is between the wheel and the seat. Hundred percent in this case. I can feel it as I'm driving as well that I could be doing better just you know. That you've not tried the Bentley, you may love the Bentley. The gap ahead is now 2.3. Yeah, I need him to catch the cars in front. If he can catch Federkin and Parsons, sorry, Parsons and Maramek, then it may be just come back to me. <laughs> hey Eugene. Ah. 
define winning. <laughs> By all metrics, I am not. Well, not all. I haven't put the car in the wall, so yet. So I'm winning that small battle with myself. And as you can see, I am taking Ascari like a scaredy cat. Sometimes are sort of consistent. <laughs> oh yeah, after Suzuka, you can't really judge too much there, can you? Maybe I'll just be trying to be like you. Hopefully I don't today. Or the next race. Oh, if you don't, if you didn't see it, check out the end of the last on YouTube. Check out the end of the last race at Suzuka. In the incidents, you can see. Well, Eugene was behind me at a point in the race, actually applying pressure as well, and then he decided, "Let me show you people how to bin a car in style." I think he had like two minute plus of damage to repair. Literally just a little clip of the grass going into 130R. And yeah, round and round she went. Ask DB about walls, he'll tell you about Bathurst. <laughs> he really doesn't like Bathurst. Also, my tire pressures are too high. I thought they would come down by now, but they're really not. That's why you need to practice with full servers when you can, I mean. Oh, Parsons passed Maramak. Yeah, but you want them at 33 exactly, especially in the wets. 33? 30. But I think they'll be very okay, because the race is going to get a little cooler as well. Stop blaming other things. It's just your driving that's keeping you back right now. And you know exactly where it is. Two corners. Scary and Parabolica. Have you done lots of batters driving then, Eugene? Maybe that's why. Maybe that's why you feel more comfortable there. Mac is actually losing lots of positions suddenly. Well, I say lots, lost two positions. We're still about two and a half seconds, maybe three seconds ahead. On your left, on your right. 
this awful position? I think it is. Hey, come on, mates. <laughs> Pick a side. That's not nice. I think they all got caught. Caught up, caught up by traffic. Wow, damn it. Get your words right. They must have got caught up by traffic. And I think it's that car that's still in front of us. And all of a sudden, I am in with them again. I know Federkin was lapping quicker than me, so he may pull away again. I was matching Maramak's pace, so I just need to get my head down and I think I can get away from him. Well done, Damien. You're looking really good. Come on, keep your focus. E5. I don't have the button to disable my mirrors, although I don't really look in my mirrors except when it's you behind me. Green flag, you're clear. When Eugene is behind me, I tend to stare at the mirrors a lot. <laughs> the weapon that is Eugene. To be fair, I think I caused him to do the same thing. When I was behind him, he was just staring at me instead. It's boxing. Ooh, that's interesting. Nah, I don't mind the chat. Like, I read chats all the time anyway, so it really doesn't bother me. I'm here.
Thank you. Right there. Hold your nerve, just keep it smooth. Yeah, the issue with staying off the line is there are actually not as many places as I thought to do it at Monza. Because I was trying to lower, yeah, I thought about it too earlier, so I could preserve the tires for longer, right? Wrong curb, wrong curb. Oh, I think he misjudged that because I misjudged it, you know. So I have to do it on the straights, I think. His boxer. Okay. Lennart and Taylor currently. Well, this is before pit stops. 30 minutes of fuel, right? there's no point stretching the fuel, might as well just go till it runs out. I was going to try lifting and coasting where it could be. Yeah, I think you're right about that, Eugene. It's definitely time to start thinking of saving these tires where I can. I was at TC4 for most of the start of the race actually. I'm just trying to, while everybody's pitting, get away from some people, you know. I was actually tempted to go TC2 instead. But I need to remember it's not only about pace, it's a relatively longer race. I started the race on TC4. Just safety and but I was losing a lot of time. Although it looks like I'm still doing the same lap time, so... Power does feel better on three. Frank has got a stop and go. There's Lance in the pits. He was a good 12-ish seconds ahead, I think should come out well see where I am after my pit stop I'm not using curbs much Probably part of why I'm kind of slow currently. 
but I'm not touching curves as much as possible. My real slow parts are Ascari, probably because I'm not touching the curves, and Parabolica, but I'm not sure why I'm Parabolica yet. But I know why. I'm not taking it right, I'm just not sure how to take it right yet. If you're wondering what these names we're calling are, the corner we're coming up to, or the series of corners, is called Ascari. You can see I, I take too many bites at the throttle coming out of here. And then this corner we're coming up to is Parabolica. That's a shape like a Parabolica. I'm also losing time through the Lesmos. Basically, I'm losing time everywhere. But I'm accepting it as the price for trying to stay safe. Oh yeah, it's not called Parabolica anymore, is it? Gravo Alberto. But yeah, ship like a Parabolica. It makes sense in my head that it's called Parabolica. Parabolica? Like a Parabola. Inside curves are fine, but outside ones don't have enough grip. Yeah, exactly that. But even on the inside ones, I'm finding that if I might, if my wheel isn't pointing the right way, so my tires are slightly offline, I'm losing a lot of time. I only hope that some of the oh no misjudged it that some of the cars in front of me are taking tires that's maybe the only advantage because right now i'm going all in with this no tire change i reckon i'll lose some time towards the end of the race but for now also i realize some people may have only gone 45 minutes fuel so only fuel up for half the race and then be able to pull away at the start. Drive away all this lap. What a five minute fill, yeah? Or they took tires. Yeah, I think I should be fine on the wet. I may lose a little bit of time, but not enough, I think, to warrant an extra 27 seconds in the pits. What's five minute fuel on tires? Mm. The lead is still doing 55, so Lenart, I think, is comfortably running with this one. I think I'm starting too close to the inside 
fucking Barbara, like, sorry, Carvo Alberto. Oh, we should be doing better than this, P2. Wow, Jim, wow. That's not cutting at all. I guess that means the cars behind me are lapping better. Example of outside curbs not helping you there. Yeah, crew chief steadily coming for me, people. That was about my qualifying lap, so I'm happy I could at least put that down in the race. But less fuel dummy, be more adventurous with turn one. Actually, maybe only a little bit more, not massively, okay? You know what happens when you massively able to do it? You miss the corner. Not shifting through parabolica. Maybe actually. Yeah, it's also not the time to experiment. <laughs> he says before trying to take a scary like a squally. You're not wrong, it means that I don't get that jerk at the top of the red rev range. Me too. Hmm, I just have to incorporate it into better lap, I suppose.
Pip just doesn't get started power. Coming up parabolical. Okay. See, I don't want that jerk that happens when you shift on power. Because I feel like that's sliding, sending the back out a bit too much. Well, it's more than I'm currently comfortable with. Yeah, P2 before the pits, buddy. Cross shifting is a brilliant idea. Little upset, I didn't think of that already. It feels a little bit more comfortable. Again, it could also just be the lower fuel but just feels a bit more planted back to third as you were starting to touch the truck oh i get you yeah i would normally do that in the dry actually i'm not sure if i'm brave enough to do it in the wet <laughs> note how i am lifting over the exit there losing time i know but something inside of me tells me the one time I try to yeet it, it's the time the wall will beckon. You guys stay too long in the second there. Jim! You're cold, man. You're cold. I'm curious to see where I come out after pit stops. I don't think I've tried this strategy before. Where I just go long and see... And only splash dash. Oh, well, not in a sprint race. I've done it in endurance racing. Get the lights out of me there. Well, better safe than sorry. Real code brown. Well, to be fair, it was a slow mo code brown. But I'm glad that I survived it, you know? Too shallow, or too sharp, rather. Not the way to take it. Sector 2 is clear. Yeah. Definitely losing time.
I thought he was going to bounce back to but I only thought of that as I was going past him hey whole second because I looked at the wrong aim point. People, that's why you look through the corner. The one time I didn't, I clipped so much of the first sausage. Six, uh, five laps of fuel. Do I go or do I box? Well, maybe not this lap, but maybe box the next lap. And then I sort of know where I am with the grid. But the whole plan was to go as long as possible. I guess the problem is I'm not lapping well right now, so maybe the pit stop gives me a break. Cars behind are pitted as well. And seconds. Really? Longer than I thought. <laughs> Eugene, you gotta trust that your luck will not always be chaos, you know? Now that I think about it, perhaps I should have held up um, the Aston that came up behind me because they would have been on low fuel. One more lap than box? I think so. 20 minutes, 2 minute laps, 10, we'll call it 12 laps of fuel to be safe. Yeah, I think my 35 liters is the right call. Just be safe, dummy. Actually, 
How much fuel do I need from here to the end? That's why I should have been calculating the base stop. Driving like a tool bag, damn it. Thirty one five for twenty minutes. Copy. Yeah, I think I lost time doing this though. I didn't put in the hammer time lapse like I needed. Somehow that happened. It's time to box people. It's definitely time to box. They're handling the low fuel very well. All that time that I thought I was trying to make up, I think I just gave away. That's such a rookie mistake for me as well. Okay, Damien. Five minutes of fuel remaining. Five minutes. Great stuff. Keep it coming, mate. Just now you tell me great stuff, minutes. Jim. I just blew the lead. Nine, not good. My engine, come on, I killed it, I killed it. People, what am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, I thought I was gaining positions. <laughs> I wanted that position from him. Hey, come on. I know you're fast, but you gotta leave space. Have enough fuel on board. Okay, so I'm going to push. Well, how you think it's going to now? One point two. All that time that I gave away would have put me in front of Taylor. Ah, oh, pain. But you can't live in the past, Dami. Otherwise, I'd be kicking myself for Snetterton still.
know the lap time dummy break markers and exit points so that's how you go faster Oh, you were right, by the way. Just need to head down and drive. Could be one of those drivers that just decides I've missed the corner, I'm gonna yeet it. But no. No, I refuse. I'm gonna get this properly. Just need to drive well and I could maybe get on the podium. Maybe. instant drive through do you? You get like three warnings. <laughs> and I know there are definitely some drivers that think well what one warning is worth it. Clearly not me but there are definitely drivers that drive like that. Get an instant drive through if you eat it. <laughs> I did not know that. I just need to keep pulling away from the cars behind. What happens in front to take care of itself? Yellow flag, stay sharp. Are on your right. Your right. Guys, I don't know what's happening through there, but it's not going well, and now I've lost everything. Left side. Clear left. Green flag. Just threw it away, guys. Threw it all away. Ah, uh, I'm very upset with myself right now, people. Very upset. That same corner. Mm. <laughs> Shut up and drive. Yeah, you're right. It's just. A little depressing, you know? The same corner as where I bend it in the first stint.
go dummy. Do what you can salvage. That's all you had to do. That's all you had to do. I think I must have just come in too hot and tried to rotate the car more than should. Sorry for spinning in front of you. You did not need that. Let's go. We're going to try and pass these cars in front of us as much as possible. Yeah, Eugene, you're right. Literally, was just saying that to myself. I could take the cars in front of me. I made a huge mistake, people. I forgot to save the replay. Big mistake. Because it was such a short pit stop, I think I didn't think about it. But in reality, I could have done it at any point while I was driving. Ah, it's gone from very good race to not so good race. Yeah, I'm sure Nins or someone will have it. Hey, upside people, it means that this result is likely to spice things up for the final race. I think it means that the championship battle is wide open on that final race. Which is incredible to think about. There will be about three, four cars with a chance of winning it. I think I know what I'm doing wrong. I'm coming off the brakes too quick. That's why the car is over rotating. Ah, such a crappy mistake to make. And that's partly because I'm trying to brake too late. Guess where the next race is, people? Spa Francochamps. Oh. Also, people, it means that we got our strategy right, you know? We can't. That's something to actually be happy about. We got the strategy right. We know it works next time. I just have to be a bit more careful with the car so I can bring it home next time.
also that's the advantage of practice people i feel like if i had done a full stint in practice i definitely would have found out that happens but it's all right this is good practice for the next time i come here in an endurance race I've definitely done a few endurance races here before. I'm hundred percent sure I have. It's not bad. It's just at some point it's just laps and laps and laps and laps. It's more fun as well when it's like in uh, multi-class because at least then you have constant, uh, what you call it, variation on every lap. of us with no downforce and boredom. I know how you feel, mate. I wanted to catch this Aston in the front, I didn't even get close. Disgusting. Okay, Damien, you're in on this guy, and the gap's now 2.4 seconds. People, this season I'm learning a lot about myself. There are certain things I need to work on, like those unforced errors. Those unforced errors are very unnecessary. It's where races are won or lost. In this case, it's where championships may be won or lost. put a brick on your thoughts <laughs> that's poor record that's actually poor record you could just like leave the car and come back you think something can still happen they could start a fight you wanna be starting something got to be starting something yeah, I don't think they will though. It's been quite sensible driving generally today. I really feel for Amir, he just collected me. It's definitely never over to the checkered flag. And I have to always look at it this way. I finish, I'm finishing ahead of where I started in qualifying. I'm basically not as many points as I wanted, but still. And if I want to do better, that means all I have to do is qualify better. That's the simple formula for it also i'm pretty sure nins is holding up that pack which is why they're all sat right there <laughs> a nins train
Last lap, people. Could be worse. <laughs> Could be worse, right? I gotta take heart from the fact that I did certain things right. Now my personal errors are what they are. But I did certain things right that I can take forward. And I've learned that I can actually trust the Bentley a bit more in the wets than I thought I could. So prior to this race, I used to have the TC a lot higher in the Bentley. This is the first time I've run with it at like 3, 4, 2 in wet. And it looks like, actually, it's a good call. Something I'm going to do more often. I'm thinking of championship points, Eugene. All my contenders are finishing up in front of me now. Two of them on the podium, I think. Shout out to Lance. That's it, people. Penultimate race. Monza in the wet. 90 minutes. It's been brilliant. Well done, people. Well done. Well done. Oh, I wonder if I can limp the car back with 1.7 liters. <laughs> Literally cross the line. Wheel. If there was another lap, people, I would not be able to finish it. I'm sure there's a fuel save map, but I don't actually know what it is. Oh, we did it, people. P10. Another race of Walker the Bins. Well done, Damien. Great drive. That's a podium. No, it's not, Jim. That's not a podium. I think you're still imagining that I was where I was before... Look at it! I would have been right there. <laughs> Jim got confused there, people. Alright, so Lenox in P1, Taylor P2, Kakzalki P3, Kakzalski, Birch P4, Richter P5, Nins P6, well done. Jokic 7, Kester 8, Maramak, Maramak, yeah, I'm assuming that's how you pronounce it. P9, I'm in P10, Fed at Kenny 11, Parsons 12, clearly not happy as you can see by the chat, Reese up to P13, well done, second Bentley for him, Mills in P15, so I'm the first Bentley, come on, I'm taking that, I'm taking that, <laughs> yeah. Craig is clearly not happy. Someone ran out of fuel at the entrance. Oh, I couldn't even help him through. <laughs> I tried. I tried, Nins. I tried to yeet him into the 
and I couldn't. Oh, people are saying I don't have the full replay, so I'm not even sure if I can get the race starts. No, it starts from lap 8. Oh well. There weren't any real incidents for me, you know, just my spins. And to be honest, I'm not sure that there's much to see there. Was it this lap or the lap before? It was this lap where I had my first spin. Pretty sure it was this lap, I think. I don't know. Maybe the lap before. Yeah, look at that. So it's, it's my braking. I don't think it's anything to do with the car setup, really. I think it's just my braking. And I misjudged it. Did it again. One of these laps. I actually survived longer than I thought. So yeah, I'm just carrying too much speed into the corner. That's all it is. Go a feel for Amir though, like not so much he could do there. Okay, he's on board. Yeah, I feel bad for him. Sorry buddy. I ruined whatever race you were having there as well. But well, people, we've done it. It's Monza is complete. And now it's time to go and rest because it's quite late for me actually. I'll try to put this up on YouTube as soon as I can. I need to find the replay of the race so I can work it out. But yeah. I'm very much looking forward to the next race. I'm not racing this weekend. No walls were touched, people. I did not touch any walls, even though I spun. Like, that's good. <laughs> that's actually good. So, yeah. I'm looking forward to next week. It's spa. I think it's dry. There's a very small chance of rain. So, yeah. Let's go get it. Let's go get it. Take care of yourselves, people. I'll see you when I see you. Thanks for hanging out with me. Okay, bye.